Mason Marchment scored for the first time since the playoff opener, and the Dallas Stars beat the Edmonton Oilers 3-1 on Saturday night to even the Western Conference Final at a game each. Marchment broke a tie at 3.41 of the third period when he deflected a shot that went through the legs of defenseman Vincent Desjardins, then bounced on the ice and went between the right arm and body of goalie Stuart Skinner. Stars defenseman Ryan Suter, whose 1,444 career regular season games without a Stanley Cup title are the most among active players, shot the puck from against the board just inside the blue line that Marchment deflected. We've got to play like it's Game 7. We're so close, so it's just got to be a Game 7 mentality for the rest of this ride here, Marchment said. Stars captain Jamie Benn had a goal and assisted on Essa Lindell's empty netter with 2.03 left. Wyatt Johnston had two assists. Dallas goalie Jake Ottinger stopped 28 shots, including a reaching glove save on Matthias Ekholm's shot with about three and a half minutes left, and also gathered in the Edmonton defenseman's long shot about a half minute after that. Connor Brown had Edmonton's goal. Skinner, who had won the previous three games since being sitting two games in the last round, stopped 22 shots. Game three is Monday night in Edmonton, where the Stars won 4-3 in their only trip there this season. That was November 2nd, during the Oilers' 3-9-1 start that led to Jay Woodcroft getting fired as head coach and replaced by Chris Knobloch. This was the seventh consecutive time the Stars went into game two of a best-of-seven playoff series coming off a loss, including all three this postseason. Marchman had scored in their 4-3 loss to Vegas in the playoff opener April 22nd, left Game 2 with an undisclosed injury, and then missed six games before returning in Game 2 of the second round against Colorado. The Oilers had gone ahead in this series on Connor McDavid's 30-second goal, 32 seconds into double overtime for a 3-2 win in Game 1 on Thursday. Edmonton center Leon Dreisaitl was scoreless, ending his playoff opening point streak at 13 games. That was one short of matching Mark Messier's franchise record set in 1988. The teams traded goals 44 seconds apart early in the first period. Ben scored on Dallas's first shot on goal in the game, with a wrister from the top of the right circle that flew across the front of Skinner and in the lower left corner of the net 339 into the game. Edmonton, which outshot the star 17-4 in the first period, got even when Brown scored on a rebound of Cody Cece's shot after he had initially gotten the puck from Brown. It was Brown's first goal this postseason and the only other one he has came in 2018 from Toronto against Boston. After going 0-5 for on the power play in the series opener, including a double minor penalty in the opening seconds of the first overtime that gave him four minutes with a man advantage, the Stars failed to score on their only power play in Game 2. That extended Edmonton's streak to 20 penalties killed over 6-plus games since giving up a power play goal in Game 3 of its second-round series against Vancouver. Game 3 goes Monday night, back in Edmonton, series tied 1-1. What happens from here? What say you? Let me know, comment section below. New to the channel? Consider subscribing. More picks and plays each and every day, including post-conferences from pre and post. Take it easy. We'll see you on the flip side. This is kind of ticked off and pissed off. Trending rabbit.